day this is for you, but I know, because I've just turned up, that Teresa's already filmed you a leg workout, so you're getting two leg workouts this week. Why are we doing two leg workouts? Well, because A, we haven't done two leg workouts for a while, and it will help you increase all of those areas that we're always trying to perfect. So our ass, for example, our glutes, our quads, all of those hamstrings, everything that we want to get nice and shapely, we are going to get going on. I've got trousers on today, it's probably a bad idea, but I thought I'd rock it seeing as it's raining outside. Um, it's amazing how different my body looks in different things. You know, when I wear shorts, I look boxy, and then when I wear no socks, my legs look dead long. <laughs> it's amazing how different clothes make you look different. It's crazy, right? Um, Disclaimer, you've noticed I've not got my long socks on today. I thought I'd be, you know, a little bit more professional, not put my socks on. These socks are already doing me head in. Doing, like, legit, pulled them up 14 times already. Even though they're the posh ones, because I know some of you will be like, you want to get the ones with the lip on? They've got the lip on. They're still annoying me. This is why I don't wear short socks. I don't do it for fashion. I do it because all I can think about is those socks moving around in my trainers and it drives me crazy. <laughs> so if you have that problem, get yourself some ankle socks, you'll never worry about it ever again. It'll never concern you. Teresa doesn't wear them because she doesn't like the way it looks. This is the difference, you see. I wear them, the ankle socks, because of necessity, because it does the job. It doesn't bother me, I put them on, job done. Teresa goes, oh no, I don't like the way it looks. Like, I don't like the way it looks because it spoils the outfit. I'm not bothered about that. <laughs> I'm more bothered about the fact that socks, do your job, job done. That's it. That's all I'm, that's all I'm bothered about. Does it, do a, does it do the job I need it to do? Yes, then that's it, done. <laughs> and now I've got short socks on because I thought, oh, I'll have a change and get my, leg, my legs really far out today as opposed to stopping up my ankles. And now I've got sock regret. So that's going to be an issue through this workout. But I just thought I'd tell you, just so you know that if I'm going, Argh! that's why. <laughs> bit nervous about this, and I'll tell you why. We'll have a little bit of bounce at the beginning. I walked up the stairs today. Now, bearing in mind, this week that you're doing right now, we film in that week that you've just done. So we've already done all of those workouts that you've done, the chest and the back and all of that. So our upper bodies, both of us, because we did the whole week together, are exactly the same. We're both broken from here to here. That's straight up. So when I walked up the stairs, I looked in and I was like, oh gosh, she's doing legs. And I went, I'm doing legs today. She was like, well, I could only do spin or legs and I, I need to get my own leg workout in. Because obviously that, and she was like, if I don't do it today, then I, I won't get a leg workout in because she's working as well. She's a PT as well. I was like, okay, okay. Well, I'll do a leg workout as well. Because our workouts are very different. I was like, don't worry, don't worry. It'll be fine. We can have two leg workouts next week. It's good. It's a good mix-up. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I was like, is anything hurting? She went, everything hurt, everything. I was like, my biceps and my triceps are killing me. She was like, I know. So if you're remembering last week and you have that day, we're in that day right now. That day where everything from here to here is just like, oh, that's where we're at. So we've both only got legs to give you. Which is great, because you're going to get two leg workouts, but it's also going to be a really interesting week, because you know how much one leg workout brings the pain. Imagine two. Well, you won't have to imagine, because this is, this is it. Ready? Mm. So, this is what you're going to need. Now, there seems to be a lot of equipment out here, but don't worry, you don't need all of the equipment. You can do it with just your weights. I have a bar because I have a bar. If you don't have a bar, you're gonna do everything with your weights. You're gonna need a heavy, so I've got my 32, a medium and a light, that's it. That, for this whole workout, that's it. If you have a step, I would really like you to have one. If you don't have a step, no biggie, okay? A resistance band, if you have one. If you don't have a resistance band, no biggie. You're just gonna hold a light weight. So the minimum you're gonna need, heavy, and I mean heavy, medium, light. If you want to make your heavy your bar, you can. Now, there's going to be moments in this where I'm going to use my bar and I'm going to change the weight of my bar. So if you see down at the side of my... there... <laughs> that's hard to do in the camera. You see there, they're plates. So I've got a five, a two and a half and a one and a half on the floor just there, ready to go on my bar. So set yourself up, ready to go. Pause this, 
set yourself up how you need to do it. So I've got my heavy, two mediums, two lights, two plates to put my ankles on, and I've got my bar set up if you have one with my various weights here. But remember, again, you don't need to have both. You can just have one or the other. When we're gonna do front squats or anything like that, you're just gonna hold one of those here, okay? Good. If you're training at home, invest in a heavy, a medium, and a light. That's all you're gonna need to ever train with us. You're never gonna need anything other than that. If you can get a box, that'd be brilliant. But if you can't, it's no biggie. You can do everything on the floor. But mainly, heavy, medium, light is gonna set you up for everything. And you can't expect to change your body if you're not gonna invest in a little bit of equipment. You can do most things with like your sandbag, and you can do most things with the stuff you've got around the house. But if you really want to see changes, invest in a little bit of equipment. Get on your, you know, your sites that are local. People might be giving things away. Just try and collect a few bits, even if it's just a one heavy kettlebell, so you can at least put some pressure on your legs, so we can really start making some changes. Don't be afraid of lifting weight. Weight is gonna be your friend forever. It will give you lean, beautiful muscle. The losing fat part is the diet, and that's always the thing that people struggle with, but we're gonna help you with that on the website very soon. Um, I'm ready to rock and roll. Are you ready to rock and roll? We're gonna start with our resistance bands. So get your resistance bands. This one. I know you love a bit of resistance band work. My socks are driving me up the wall already. That's okay. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Jesus, it's driving me up the wall already. So. We're gonna start with our walks. We're gonna walk forward and we're gonna walk back again. When we're using our band, make sure that our knees are not coming in, they're going out. And if you don't have a band, you're gonna hold a small weight. You have 15 seconds on a two minute work period. Get yourself ready. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go, tap, tap, tap. Make sure that you are really working. Tap. So we did a lot of resistance band last week on legs. If you remember, we did it with hamstrings on the bench. We did it with uh, quads off the bench with our extensions. We're trying to make sure that we are adding resistance bands into your daily week to make sure that we're working on those tendons to make sure that we are pushing ourselves as hard as we can, but making everything get ticked off every single week so we're not missing anything. It's very easy just to do one thing, one thing, just lift weights or just do cardio, but to get everything in, your plyometric, your function, your resistance bands, you've gotta keep switching up the game to keep us healthy. Keep working. Are you ready? Turn to the side. Let's go. Step it. Stand tall. Bum under. Use these outside muscles. Let's go. Come on, stand tall. Get it. Make sure those heels are on the floor. 38. Come on. Ah, go. You got this, push. 25, come on. Woo, let's go. 18. Come on. 10. How's that feel? Should feel horrendous. Five, four, three, two, last one, good. Woo. I know, it's horrible, I know. Let's walk it again, get ready to go backwards. Seven seconds, six, let's keep moving our feet. Four, three, two, let's go. Walk it, let's go, come on. Warming up those glutes, warming up those inner and outer thighs. I know you don't particularly enjoy it, <laughs> but the fact that they're starting to start Fire it up straight away is a good sign. 45 seconds on this, and then we squat down, and we squat low. I really like to use resistance bands on our leg day to warm up. It really does help 
fire up all of those little fibers. 25 seconds on this. Let's go. Oh yeah. 15, 13, ah, ass cheeks. 10, three, two, last one. This time get low, squat down, get low, squat down, let's go. Squat down, make sure those knees are not coming in. Let's go, squat down. Good, squat, 54, come on, let's do this thing, stay up tall, good times, let's go, 42, you're smashing it, 37, good, come on, make it work, make it count, you got it. 27. Come on, push. 10 seconds. How's it feeling? It's horrendous. I know. Five, three, two, last one. Really good job. Take the band away. Let's start. You're going to need your lightish weight, either on your bar or on your uh, kettlebell. I've gone for 20 side. This is your first set. Nice and light. Let's go. Down, two, three, come up. Down, two, three, come up. Sit back. Down, two, three, come up. Down, two, three. Good times. Down, let's go. This should be your lightest weight. It's a warm up set. Come up. Down. Two, three, come up. Good. 30 seconds. Down. Two, three, come up. Good. 23. Good. 20. Should be your lightest weight. 10 seconds. Let's go. Four, three, two. Take it forward. Front squat. Let's go. One, two, three. Abs in. One, two, three. Up you come. Down. Good. Make sure your abs are in. One, two, three. Drive it up. It should be light. It should not be too heavy. But it should be heavy enough that it pushes you on your front. Drive up. One, two, three. Drive up. Good job. 40, 23 seconds. One, two, three. Drive up. Let's go. One, two, Three, drive up, good. Do it again. One, two, three. Really good, keep going. Eight. Three, two, drop it down. This time if you want to, we're gonna elevate. Same, same. But this time we're gonna drop, come up, two, three. Again, still your warm up. On your back, let's go. Elevate those legs, let's go. Drop down, drop. One, two, three. Go down, hold it. One, two, three. Down, one, two, three. Abs in now, abs. One, two, three. Sit on a bench if you need to. One, two, three. Go down, one, Two, three, go down. 30 seconds, one, two, three, go down. Come on, one, two, three, good job. Let's go, down, one, two, three, take it down again. One, two, three, slow it down. Eight seconds, one, two, three, five seconds, down, one, 
two, let's come forward. Should be light enough to be able to switch it. Let's go. Down, one, two, three, drive up. Down, one, two, three, try and get low. Go, one, two, three, good. Down, one, two, three, really good. Let's go, down, one, two, three. Good, 30 seconds, oh, I'm sweating. Down, one, two, three, good times, let's go. Ha. One, two, three, slow it down. Got to create that tension, go. Down, one, two, three, 13 seconds. Down, one, two, three, good job. Eight seconds, go. Down, one, three, two, rack it. Rack it. Really good. Okay, now we're gonna go grab a drink. That's your warm up done. Now we're gonna go on to our heavy, medium, and lights. Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna take this down to one minute. You've got a minute on each. Start with your heavies and then work your way up. Let's go, eight seconds. Starting with a goblet squat. Let's go, up, down, up, down. Sorry, straight squat, toes are forward. Go, down. Good, 27. 
I'm right here with you, keep pushing, keep pushing, all the way, 18, working on that ass, go, 10 seconds, come on, four, three, two, last one, good job, grab your medium weight, we're going to do floor touches to the ceiling for one minute, 16 is my medium, Three, two, one, let's go. So you touch the floor, drive it up. Touch the floor, drive it up. Let's go. Down, drive it up. Down, good, up. Make sure you sit back, chest tall. Come on, push. 40 seconds on this. Go. Come on, 28. You're doing amazing. Keep going, 15. Eight seconds, my hands are slipping. Three, two, last one, grab a drink. Oh, I should be starting to sweat. Should be starting to get pretty real now. You okay? Okay. Climbing that mountain together, yeah? Good. Okay. So, what I need from you now is I need you to make sure that you're going heavy, medium, and light. So, I'm going to introduce my second heavy weight. So, I'm heavier. So, my heavy, my heavy is 32 a side, my medium is 20 a side, my light is 16 a side. If you have single weights in between your legs, that's what you're going to do. If you have enough weights to make a set each side, like me, then do it. But if you only have the weights that you just use, arrange them, so if you had two of them in your hands, you go from heavy, medium to light, do it now. On your bar, you need to up your weight. What I need you to do is listen very carefully, you put your biggest weight on, so mine's my 20, then your smallest weight, so your two and a half, if you're doing the same weight as me, then your five, and then your 10. There is a reason for this, so I've got 30, Five, 37.5 a side, which is all the weights I have. So, 2.5, 1, 5, and then a 10. If you have it, if you don't have a bar, if you don't have a bar, I've got some fives there I can use as well. If you don't have a bar, you are gonna get two of your medium weights and you are gonna place them in between your legs and when we do this one, you are gonna do goblets. That's your alternative. I've got a five here that I can put on. Awesome. So I've put an extra five on, so I have, I've got 10, 30, 20, 30, 40, 42.5 and a six pound bar. That's what I'm going for. That's all I've got. Are you ready? So we're gonna start with these wides, which is what I just told you. If you've got two weights, you're gonna put them on the middle of your hands, just like in the middle here, and you're gonna squat down. You are gonna need your straps if you're going at the same weight as me. This is where your workout officially starts, right now, okay? We're gonna do one minute. 14. 10. Eight. Seven, I'm right here with you. Lock it in. Lock those abs in, lock those lats in. Two, one, let's go. Pick it up, drop it down, make sure. You squeeze up. Up, let's go. Down, up. That's the reason I told you to put your little weights after the 20, so you can put your fingers in. Make sure you're going all the way down. 40 seconds, come on, push. 
down, up, down, up, squeeze, down, good, up, down. If you have an Olympic bar, maybe you're gonna hold it here and you're gonna come up, but this is too low, this bar, for me to do that, which is why I'm holding onto the tops of my weights. This bar's too low to do that with unless you're gonna put it on blocks. Seven. Three, two, last one. Good, we're gonna do that again. You can use the bar, but you've got to put those weights on blocks about that high so that you are far enough off the ground, otherwise you'll be arching your back too much. I've told you that before. Three, two, one, and now it's real. Let's go up, squeeze up, down, good. You gotta squeeze those abs, lock those abs in. Let's go, good, down, up, good, down. 40 seconds, up, good. If you're finding that you're rolling forward, take your shoes off or lift your toes. Go, 30 seconds, up, be strong, come on, let's go, up, good, 18, up, up, come on, eight, up, four, three, two, and last one. Good job. Pick up your bench. Grab a light weight. I'm going for 10 kilos. You should have something light-ish. Mm. Let's go. Up, slowly squat down. Up, slowly squat down. Let's go up, slowly squat down. Up, 49. Go. Good, good, 40, do it again, good, down, 39, up, down you go, up, 34, keep your balance, 28, up, come on, that extra weight is only going to help, 20, come on, 18, Come on, up, go down. Make sure you're going sideways, not backwards. 10, five, three, two, change sides. Very different vibe to what we've done so far this week. Let's do it, make sure you're sideways on. Let's go up, squeeze down, good, up, squeeze down, good, up, good, let's go up, good, awesome, 48, come on, up, be strong in those legs, drive up, squeeze at the top, squeeze your ass at the top, let's go, 37, seconds up you're doing amazing let's go up really good 23 come on 18 up squeeze at the top squeeze those cheeks come on 10 seconds eight four three two last one keep your um, bench handy and you're going to need your lightish weights which might be 10 kilos on that bench back to your bar or your weights that you're holding in the middle are you ready let's go out to the side sit down lock your lats in drive up good make sure that chest is proud up chest proud let's go Make sure you're squeezing as hard on the way down as you are on the way up. Lift those toes to make sure that you are pushing. 
that weight into your legs. Go, 32. 27, up, good. 24, up. 18, using your back, using your quads, using your glutes. Everything is using in this workout right now. 10 seconds. Three, two, drop it down. Just grab a drink, I'll start you again. Look, it's actually pouring off my nose. You see? Just grab a drink. Mm. Grab a drink. I'm sweating. I'll see you later. Hi, Erin. Okay. We'll do that again, and then we'll do step ups. Are you ready? Oh. I know you are, because I am. I know you're being pushed right now, but you know if you're in a gym and you're wanting to increase strength, these are the sort of things you will be doing. So you've got to really just make sure you're putting it in. My abs are killing from combat yesterday. I don't know if you've done combat yet, but we did combat with abs. Abs are absolutely killing. Are you ready? Stay with it. You totally got this, because I've got it. So I know you've got it. If you need to put your vest, uh, your belt on, put it on. If you need to lower your weight, lower your weight, just get through it. You shouldn't need to though, if you're an advanced body rocker, you should be fine, body rocker. If you're an, <laughs> that's old school. <laughs> that's habit, that is. <laughs> Let's go up, oh, athlete. That's what I should have said. <sighs> Never leaves me. <laughs> Let's go <sighs> up. <sighs> go up. <sighs> Come on. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Drive up with the legs. Up. <sighs> go down. <sighs> up with the legs. Up. Oh. Really good, you should be feeling it on your inner thighs, your ass cheeks. Up. Squeeze at the top, you shouldn't be dead quick. Because your legs should be doing all the work. 10 seconds, squeeze. Up. Three, two, last one. Good job, step ups. One leg first and the other. I've got 10 kilos. Let's go one leg up, either tap, come back down and step, or you can keep your foot on and slightly tap. It's entirely up to you which one you feel works you more. Let's go. seconds. Make sure that knee is not moving. It's straight forward and all your weight is going on that side that's doing the work. Your bum cheek should be squeezing at the top. 24. Come on. 20 seconds. 15. Up. Good. 10. Seven, three, two, change sides. Oh my Lord. You can put the weights on your shoulders if you want to. Four, three, two, other side. Single leg lift only. Good, come on, up. You've got to go with a weight that challenges you, that when you're stepping up and your weight is in your heel, which is where the weight should be, you should feel it on the back of your glute, on the back of your bum cheek, lifting you up, lifting that bum, giving you a beautiful PTS. 
If you're not feeling it, get your weight into that side, into your heel, and squeeze your ass at the top. 20 seconds, 15, don't step too far back. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on, five, three, two, last one. Take a little minute rest, not a minute, but 30 seconds. Now we're gonna do step ups. So you're gonna step up and down, one leg first, starting with the other leg that you just didn't work. I know that sounds horrendous, but step ups are so good for your ass. They're so good for everything, you work everything. I promise you, which is why you should always take the stairs. They lift right under there, that part there. When you step up, you're using all of this to drive you up, which is why you see a lot of people on the Instagram doing that on the machines, you know, like on the, the pull-up machines, where they're just going like that on the, on the bench, because that push off is what's gonna make that bit rise up. So if you want to do it and you wanna get that, never ever quit the stairs, two at a time all the way up. <clears throat> what you don't need to do is you don't need to take a stairs kick back, take a stairs kick back. You don't need to do that. Because <laughs> unless you're really squeezing at the top for a squeeze as hard as you can, like I mean like the biggest squeeze you've ever sque squeezed in your life, that is not doing anything. And I'm sorry for all you people that love to do that on the, <laughs> on the step steps, but you're just kicking your leg back. <laughs> Sorry. Unless you've got a band on, then that's different. But ready? I know I'm the killer of dreams. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't not be real with you. Let's go. Step up. Same leg. Step down. Do not step too far from the bench. Don't lean forward. Make sure your heel is on that board before anything else. Heel up, down. Step down, hip distance apart. Step up, hip distance apart. Breathe. 26. 22, come on. 18. 14. 10. Five, two, last one. Get ready to change sides. It's absolutely pouring off me. Whew. You ready? I'm just bending over like this because it's dripping off me and the sweat's going on my bench. Let's go. Let's go. Up, oh, come on, down. Up, down. Forty five. Good. Thirty six. Oh, how are you feeling? I know it's challenging. I know it's pushing you, but it should be doable. We should be able to just keep plowing through this workout. Keep pushing yourself. 20, 15, Ooh. come on, 10, eight, three, two. Once upon a time we used to do step ups with five pounds in our hands. So, grab your chalk if you need it, I know I do. Oh God, it's dripping off me. Back to your touch floor, press. A Little bit of compound thrown in. Yeah? Yeah. You should be sweating. You should be feeling it. And you are doing amazing. Keep going. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, we're going from these touches into this 
centre lift again, so working those inner thighs again. I'm doing a lot of inner thighs today, only because I've noticed on myself that it's an area that I need to work on. So I'm hoping that you've noticed on yourself that it's an area that you need to work on. My thighs and my quads seem to be showing definition, but I feel like I just need to firm up the inside of my legs. I know you're all like, oh, whatever. But you notice these things, don't you? That other parts of your body are like making changes. I'm like, I just need to focus a little bit more on an inner thigh for today, which is why I'm adding a little bit more of this work, a little bit more ass, um, and that's it really. So that's why we're doing it. Well, that and we just need it, don't we? It's just one of them things. Ready to touch the floor? 15 seconds. Oh my lord. Sure you sit back, touch, go, touch, come on. Let's do this thing. Forty seconds, don't be stiff in your body. No point. Thirty seconds, good. Good, come on, 10. Four, three, two, last one. All I can think about is the banana bread that Teresa brought me. I'm trying, I'm trying not to think about it, but anyway. I want it, she's a feeder. She keeps bringing things in to fatten me up. Don't take a lot, don't take a lot. Let's go. Oh. Good, come on. It shouldn't be dead quick if it's heavy. It shouldn't be easy either. You should be feeling it on the back of those legs. On those ass cheeks, 28. Notice I'm not using my, my straps because I don't use them all the time. It's important that you work on your grip as well sometimes. If you can lift it without your straps, you should. 10. It's getting real now. 3, 2, last one. Oh. Oh, it is getting something right now, isn't it? Okay, if you do not have two kettlebells and you are only dealing with two weights, you need to listen to me very carefully. You're going to put both weights on your shoulder and just leave them there, light weights, like 10 kilos tops. If you can, and I'm gonna use my 16s, because obviously you are going to switch between the weights. So you're gonna lift one, drop one. The reason I've told you not to use Unless you've got stoppers, which a lot of you have, this is too low for, to go down into a lunge. You see how I'm rounding my back to pick it up? As this is high enough for me to do a lunge safely. So if you need to put it on stoppers and you want to do it with weights, you absolutely can. <clears throat> Buying two stoppers or making two blocks would be cheaper than investing in some kettlebells. Think about it. It would be cheaper. That's what I'd do. For sure. It's quite nice to have all the equipment and not be given all the crap equipment. <laughs> not crap equipment, but like the make-do equipment because Treats has got the dumbbells. It's quite nice to have you <laughs> to be able to use it all. It just comes as the big sister roll. You know what I'm saying? Those of you that are big sisters will understand. Just the roll. When we were kids and we used to fall out, and it'd be Teresa's fault, to be fair. And I'd go and I'd be like, Mom, Dad, 
true sister this, I'd always get, you're the big sister, you should apologise. I was like, how does this work? You're the big sister, you should give it up. You're the big sister, you should do this. Which is why, whenever you see us together, it's like inbred in me to just make sure that she's alright and I'll just sort myself out. It's not because I'm like, oh yeah, you do it. You're amazing, you have this. It's because, as of from a young age, we were always taught to look, at, like, to look after the younger one first and then sort ourselves out. That's why, so she gets spoiled, and she does. She knows it as well. She's properly spoiled. Not in a bad way, but she gets away with murder. So you need to put the weights in between your legs, hip distance apart. You're gonna drop down, come up, take it down, come up. Now you're gonna need to use your balance on this. Down. If it's uncomfortable, stick with a lunge with just one weight either in front of you, behind your neck. This is helping on your balance. Believe it or not, that each side of your abs will be working to keep you in line. 26. 22, and you can't cheat because you have to get low enough to pick it up with your back leg. So you can't just lean forward, you have to go all the way down to pick it up. So that knee has to get to the mat, so you can't cheat your lunge. Four, three, two, last one. Ah. That's real, isn't it? Eight seconds. Oh, we got this. Let's go, lunge down, pick it up, drop it down. Give yourself a minute at the bottom, and then pick it up, using this big leg. Up, good, down. Up, good. 44, good. 40 seconds. Come on, 35, 30, good, 27, 23, 18, 14, come on, 10, Five. Oh. Oh. How do they feel? Hmm. Real, right? Okay. Let's just stretch those off a minute. If you need to stretch them off, stretch them off. We're going to go into our drop set. You are warm enough now to go into this. So, I'm going to start with my heaviest, heaviest weights. You might want to put your rack on now and make that your heaviest weight for your rack. We're gonna go from heavy, medium to light. Then we're gonna go one heavy, one medium, one light, okay? Then we're gonna go into goblets, the same, heavy, medium, light, and then we're gonna go into hamstrings, heavy, medium, light. Got it? <laughs> you got this. You're dead warm, you're ready to go. You're warming off. We've totally got this. It is gonna feel horrendous, so if you need to put your belt on, Please do, so it just gives you a bit more uh, confidence. <sighs> Wear your hair down, they said. It'll be great, they said. It won't stick to your head all the way through the workout. Ready? <laughs> Which is all it's done, slap me in the face. So, heavy, medium, and light is where we're at. So I've got two 32s. You might have one 32, that's okay. Whatever your heaviest is, you might be going for the squats. Whatever it is, do it. You ready? You've got 15 seconds. So it's gonna go one way or another. Either gonna finish us or make us feel like badasses. It's gonna be very close. <laughs> Let's go, you've only got a minute. Do not rush them though. Up. Thank you. 
in at the back. 27. You are so strong, you have no idea. 22. Some people don't work this hard in a gym, I promise. 15. If you're going faster than me, that's okay. You go at your pace. 8. 3, 2, take a minute. We're going to do that again. Don't worry what pace I'm doing. You have a minute to do what you need to do. What's sweating so bad? It's just sweating off me. Are you ready? When you're lifting these, make sure your lats are locked in. It's working your posterior chain, it's working your ass, it's working your glutes, it's working your quads, it's working everything. It's working your arm strength, your shoulder strength, everything that you need to do gardening, to do shopping, all of those things. If you can lift six, if you're doing the same weight as me, and you can lift that, you can do anything. There's nothing around your house that's gonna need you to lift any more than that. I do like my shoes off when I'm doing legs. I much prefer it. If you've never tried it, you really should. It's a different workout. I like the feel of the ground. So I can really concentrate on where the weight is being distributed. Okay. We've got 15 seconds and we do it again. I really need you to concentrate on just being badass. You've got this. I know it's a lot. I'm trying to get eight reps at minimum for you. Eight reps, eight to ten reps is where I'm aiming for every time I do something with you. So I'm making sure that you're getting max reps out. Let's go. Good. Should be your heaviest weight. Whatever that is. seconds. 
I don't expect you to lift as much as me, but I expect to inspire you to not think, oh my God, if I lift a load of weight, I'm going to be a bit bulky. It's just not going to happen. You've got eight seconds. Your next weight down, let's do it. Stay with me. I'm going to change your body if it kills me, but you've got to put in the work. Let's go up. Good. Lift up. Lift your toes. Sit back down. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Lift up. Sit back down. Lift up. Sit back down. Lift up. Sit back down. On. I know you should be getting to the point where it's getting a mind game, but we're nearly done, I promise. Stay with me. 18. Do not let those abs relax. Do not let that squeeze off that bum. 10 seconds, that's the one that's protecting your back. Four, three, two, last one. Good job. We're so close to finishing, so please don't quit now. It's absolutely pouring off me. Three. Hmm. Oh yeah. I don't want to do it either, but I've got... I also love how my legs are looking in shorts at the minute. So I've got to put it in. I'm sure you're having a moment where you put some jeans on and you're like, oh yeah, well that doesn't stay or improve if you don't put in the work. So we put in the work while others sleep, while others decide not to work out and just wait for lockdown to be over. We keep going, keeping our bodies strong and healthy. 24, don't quit, just keep going. Rep by rep, move by move, we've got this. 18, ah, oh. oh, that's everything now for me. 10 seconds, come on. Five, three, two, last one, rest it out. Now we're gonna do some goblets, one round. You've got three minutes of goblets, three minutes of hamstrings and you're done. I know you've got that in you and you've got to do it anyway because otherwise you'll have an imbalance and I don't want that for you. never stops. There, that thing never stops beeping. <laughs> Are you ready? So, goblets. Only one weight this time. It's going to go in between. We've done these before. You're going to put your legs out as wide as you can if you've never done it before with me. And you go up and down using the inner thighs to pick you up. Um, we do not lean forward. Try to stay as upright as possible, keeping those shoulders back, locking in those lats, those big muscles to lock you in at the back. Are you ready? It's going to go real quick, three minutes, not a lot. Let's do it. Talk about yourself. Three, two, one, let's go. Down. Make sure those inner thighs are doing the work. Squeeze up. I've got my toes lifted. I'm pulling in my abs. My shoulders are back. And my inner thighs are doing the work. And I'm squeezing at the top for as long as I need to before it feels like I need to go down. I'm not just dropping. I'm actually putting some tension on that inner thigh. All the way down. Squeeze up. All the way down. Squeeze up. Good. 28. Squeeze up, Whoa. down, squeeze up, 20 seconds, down, squeeze up, 16, down, oh. my inner thighs, but that's what I wanted to work today, 7, 4, last one, this is a proper workout today my friends. We are not messing around on this one. My legs are going to be dead tomorrow. Three, 
two, one. It's amazing when you have got a 50, a 32, just how light 20 feels. And once upon a time, doing this with a 20 kilogram would have been everything for me. Which just goes to show that strength can be built up by practice and just working every day. Squeeze at the top, try not to lean forward, try to go up and down and get those inner thighs doing the work. Let's go down, up, 30 seconds, oh, down, good, hmm. down, 25, 20, anyone else really sweaty like they've been in the shower, 14, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, last one, got one more on those. Then we've got some hamstrings and then we're done. And you can't quit hamstrings, I'm sorry. Six seconds. Hmm. Let's go, it should be nice and light. Maybe you want a pulse at the bottom to give yourself a little bit extra, because it's a little bit lighter. Good, let's go. Really make sure that ass goes all the way down, good, pulse, 42, this is your last one on this, we've done step ups, we've done glutes, we've done inner thighs, Twenty-eight. it's everything today isn't it, I know, I get you, I get it, it's not easy, 18, 15, 10 seconds, 4, 3, 2, grab a drink, you've got hamstrings to do and you're done. It's going to be so beautiful when that final bell goes. Are you ready? Hamstrings. So. <clears throat> We're going to do single legs, so one leg, we've done these before, so you're going to need to get to the wall. One leg, two legs, double legs, done. Ready? Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it then. No, I'm not ready either, I'm not going to lie. So use your wall, use your benches, use something to hold on to so you can really get a good stretch. Your leg that goes down should be the one near the wall. Your weight will be in the opposite hand. Got it? Good. I've got a lot of equipment to clean. <laughs> this is the only downside when you use a lot of equipment. You've got to clean it all now. <laughs> like before, we just used to put it away, but now we have to clean it all. Because <sighs> obviously, Teresa is out with other people in the day. And even though she cleans her equipment, you don't know. And you, you don't know. Now you have to thoroughly clean everything. So it takes you another 15 minutes. Let's go all the way down, squeeze up. So you're hinging at the hips, trying to make sure that it's that back leg that's doing the work. If you can't straighten that leg, that's okay, but try to straighten it as much as you can and just hinge at the hips. Hinge down, pick it up, 26. Hinge down, 22, good. I love this one. I really feel it in the hamstrings. You can't cheat it. 10 seconds, keep those hips level, keep that head in line with your body, four, three, two, change the sides. We're nearly there, I can see the tunnel, oh leg day, I love to hate you. Three, two, one, let's go, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. And make sure the head is in line with the body. Tilt at the hips, pick it back up. Tilt at the hips, pick it back up. Good times, let's go. 44. Good. 
Good. Come on, feel it on that back leg. Slow it down if you can. Keep your hips in line. 17. side of you or you can do it with one weight which is how I'm going to do it with my heels together just to vary it up a little bit so my heels are going to be together just like that slight gap in the middle I'm going to hinge forward just like I did and then squeeze up at the top squeeze in your bum under squeeze up lift your toes so the weight goes all the way back push that bum as far back to that room as you can Push it right back, 43, huh. 40 seconds. Good. We're nearly there, 30 seconds and it's over. I can't believe it. Let's go, 28, I've definitely worked your legs today. You can't say I've not worked your legs. 22, 18, 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, oh, and then you're done. And you are done as well. You've done really, really, really well. That is a proper advanced workout right there. Whatever weight you did, however you did it, however you got through it, you have deserved a slap on the back because you that's a proper workout. You do not realise how hard we are working you. That's harder than some workouts I've ever done in a gym, ever. You did step ups, side steps, bar lifts, um, drop set legs, drop set goblets, hamstrings, all in there. Resistance, done. I love you a long time. Bye.